Open your Bibles with me today to uh, Psalms chapter 8. And he's going to uh, spotlight on one verse, uh, verse 2. Uh, what well, the scripture says in reading from the New Living Translation, the King James Version, uh, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength, because of the, thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, this, this, this particular verse uh, takes me back to a, a moment in time, a uh, write a passage in my life when I was uh, just preteen, uh, coming of age and getting ready to uh, go through that corridor of teenage years into manhood. Uh, and I was very fortunate and blessed because my dad had been a very obscure character uh, with some questionable activities uh, in his life leading up until that point. Uh, but uh, just in that age around, for me, about seven, eight, nine, ten years of age, uh, he came to a turning point where he turned the corner and uh, in Christ entered his life by God's grace. And uh, it was for the first time I had access to my father to get to know him, to sit at the table with him and eat a, a peaceful meal, uh, to, to go with him different places, meetings and what have you, and see him interact with other men uh, on, on a social level, uh, which was pretty healthy for me, uh, just good exposure. Uh, helped me shape into the man with the character I have today. I just thank God for those days, but one of the most significant things was uh, he was part of the founding of a group called God's Children Gospel Mail Corps, which uh, I attribute to a lot of uh, my strength in life today uh, because in that group there were a number of his associates from the world and friends and relatives from the neighborhood that gathered in under that particular ministry covering that particular uh, dispensation of God's grace in our, in our history as a family and a, and a community. Uh, and, and, and they called themselves God's children even though they were grown men. Uh, many had uh, done things that probably uh, we don't, we don't like to talk about a lot now, but it made mistakes in life, uh, to, to, uh, uh, the gamut across the human experience. And, and there I was, a, a young lad, the oldest of the sons, that was first allowed to join that chorus. And there's a picture, there's a part of my logo at the bottom of my YouTube channel where it says when W.B. Stanley Company. Uh, that picture is, is, a, is a modified version of the picture um, in the first one of the portraits from one of our anniversaries years ago. Uh, when I was 10, 11 years old, when I started, when I joined the Mill Corps, I ended up being able to play drums. Eventually, got involved with singing and even writing some lyrics and stuff like that. Uh, but just the concept of being a part of a group that sang praise to God through music. Uh, we were praising God through music. And I remember coming through my teenage years, and I had some friends that died all of a sudden uh, due to mischief and, and, and uh, that boys often do. I won't get into details of that because I still uh, just hold up those families in prayer that lost their sons in those tender ages. Uh, I had other friends who got involved with gang activity and, and what have you. Uh, uh, remind, you go back down memory lane in 1984 when they first aired the movie Colors, uh, showing the gang uh, robbery of Bloods and Crips out of uh, Los Angeles, uh, how that began to kind of just franchise over the whole country. And there we were in the Magic City, Birmingham, Alabama, far removed from the West Coast, but however, uh, very much in, in the years after that movie aired, uh, had been taught by the angels of darkness from Los Angeles uh, how to live and act in a way that was uh, detrimental to our welfare. I remember going to my first year of high school and seeing kids stabbed in, in the hallway and, and kids uh, being subject to violence. One kid was in my freshman year uh, homeroom class, and later on that summer when I went to a prison ministry campaign with my dad, uh, he was actually there in a lockup in an adult institution, a state correctional facility uh, because some things he had done and, and what have you. And, and so life was very turbulent for a young black man growing up where I grew up and, and, and living in the neck of woods. And there's just so many threats and exposures out there, not unlike today. Um, however, what I want to attribute, um, I guess, my right, my passage for my salvation to is the fact that uh, in addition to all those threats and all those things that could have been pitfalls or, or, or life-threatening to my life, uh, I had this entourage of, of men who were years ahead of me, my dad age around and above and beyond that, but all of older than me that was uh, my mentors. And, and one of their favorite pastimes was as they socialized around rehearsals and performances, dates and all that, is getting the Word of God individually in their prayer closets and coming back together and before and after rehearsal playing the game of chess and other things, uh, just mixing. They would always bring up topics about, man, let me show you what, I, what God showed me in his word the other night. Let me show you what I read the other night and what, what came alive to me out of the word. And so th th these, were, these, these became my heroes. Uh, so the scriptures became a very strong element of my personal metaphysical orientation in my faith uh, and helped me grow into what, what others call, and I, I, I attest to being a man of God today. Um, but 
thing I really remember that was just so great, was so great, was the fact that uh, I, I got a chance to learn these songs. And I'm, I, if you listen to any of my videos where I'm singing songs, I don't get all those songs from there, but some of them I do, especially ones I, I sing all the way through, verse by verse, all the way to an end. And we did, as a chorus, we did some original music. We actually recorded an album with mostly all stuff that was written by guys in the chorus. Uh, but the reality is the spiritual, the spiritual precedent in my life was the fact that God, he ordained strength in the mouths of babes and sucklings. These were grown men who, through new birth with Christ Jesus in the kingdom of God, became children of God, called themselves children of God, and went around singing and praising God through music for anybody's audience, any church, any outdoor event. Sometimes we strike up on the street corner and say, we ain't going to church today. We're going to have church on the corner uh, in some of the worst places in the city. And God blessed us for it. I know he blessed my life because he literally stopped sudden destruction. He stopped disaster. And I can attest to what the Bible says is the truth for me and my household. Uh, if you ever read the, the book of Psalms, verse chapter 91, go and read those 16 verses. It's a wonderful blessing that he that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shell of the Almighty. And no harm will come near his dwelling. If you read on down, I'm paraphrasing right now. But it even says in one place, only with his eyes will he behold and see the reward of the wicked. And the last verse I like a whole lot where it says simply this, that with long life will he satisfy him and show him his salvation because he makes his refuge in, in, in the Lord. So that is my testimony. And I thank God for the way he brought me and mine and how he protected our seed and our legacy that we might be able to penetrate the future and set our future generation up even better uh, should, should, should Christ tarry. Anyway, another Maranatha, Lord, soon come Jesus uh, and all that don't love you, uh, Lord, I'm going to leave them in your hands, uh, but I ask that they be blessed and that your mercy prevail in their lives before you get back because then as you come back, it's going to be too late. So anyway, this is Wendell Stanley signing off once again. Uh, thank you uh, for your attention span. Uh, if you like, hit like. If you want to subscribe to the channel and follow follow uh, later editions uh, as I get a chance to break away from my busy schedule as a project manager and entrepreneur. Uh, I'll be coming here just as an inspiration, hoping to be an inspire, hoping to inspire, helping to inspire and help bring change, transformation where it's needed, maybe in our communities. All right, bye-bye.